Howdy folks, welcome to episode 7. Today we're going to probably take a load of lumber over to the other place, but I also want to try to build a firewood depot. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here. We're going to put it up over here. We're going to split this track off and we're going to go up that way. I'm going to turn this off too so you can see all the little menus and stuff. And then I can also play in the dark and stuff. But yeah, I want to, um, I want to uh, make this split off and then we can also split it off from up there so that we can make like a little Y intersection where we can also kind of change direction or whatever too. So we can come into the firewood depot and then swap directions or whatever. Um, that way we can, yeah, that way we can do that. So one of the things I want to do here is I want to load this up. We're going to load these up so that we can take them. And while that's loading, let's see if we can put the brakes on. The brakes on these. There we go. Load it up. Load it up. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is fun. Like I said, I, th I think it'd be a blast if you could, like, maybe you could right-click to take control of these manually, and and load manually. That would be fun. It's kind of like the um. There was a. I had a little sandbox and a Tonka trucks when I was a kid we had the the sandbox on the side of the house and and so I used to take the little front end loader scooper thing it had the it had like the where you all it was almost like you were using your hand but it had the little thing behind the scoop and you do this to scoop it and stuff but yeah you scoop up the the sand and dump it into the dump truck and then it like run pushing the dump truck around the house all the way around the house to the other side how many can this take six okay all right and that's five out of six so yeah you can you know you i go around and do that and then dump the sand on the other side of the sandbox it's like it's been you know whatever half a day moving sand from one side of the sandbox to the other <laughs> just because it was fun to do that you know it would be fun to do that in here. Okay, so I think that's the last one. Let's see what we've got here. I mean, it's still kind of fun to watch it. It's satisfying to do, to do that, but it, I think it would be even more satisfying if you're manually controlling those. I know they'd have to add more, um, whatchamacallit, in. Okay, so let's see if we can... We need to move this forward, don't we? Is, it, is our... Yeah, our fuel... I swear, every time you exit the game and come back in, your fuel empties out, too. So let's see if we can... Take the brakes off. I don't know if we'll be able to move these cars with the brakes on like this. Okay. All right. Let's take our. Let's do this too. Um. And we'll crouch down. Open this up. There. And you know what? I think it's going to. I think if I leave any, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I actually threw them all in there. If I leave any, it's gonna. It's going to screw me on that. <laughs> it's going to throw them out into the open. You know what I mean? It's going to throw them out in the ground or something like that when I use the right mouse button. Okay, we'll take the brakes off of these. I do have the brakes on the locomotive, right? <laughs> that would be important. Okay, so we should be able to take the brakes off here. I think it's pretty powerful. We can do that much. All right, can we get a better view here? See when this thing is up. There we go. Let's see if we got it now. Yeah, that looks like it'll be good to load up. Okay, cool. We had 21 we started. So that's, yeah, 18. Okay, so there should be three left when we get done. Like I said, it'd be nice if, if when, like this yellow highlight, if that yellow highlight would show on there too. That would be pretty cool. Also, when you do like the demolish rails, that would be cool to be able to know which rail you're going to demolish, wouldn't it? That would be kind of nice. It'd be nice to have. All right, that's three of them. And then, yeah, I could see how somebody could complain that that takes too long too. That you know you're waiting for this, but. <laughs> Is it taking them from over there, or is it adding them over there, or what happened over there? Did something change over there? 
I think. I don't know, let's see. Let's watch. When we click this, because that's... Yeah, we've got two more. When we click this. What happens over on the... Yeah, we took one from over here. Huh. Okay. One, two... Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of odd, wasn't it? And let's see if it does that again. Does it take one from back there? Yeah, it did. Huh, interesting. So it does somewhere somehow keep track of the inventory. Okay, we're going to lock these up so that we can take the locomotive off, and we're going to drive the locomotive up the track, I think, in a minute here. So just want to make sure I do this before I forget when we unplug the, the locomotive. All right, so the other thing we need to do is, you know, I think I am, <laughs> I am going to have to move these back. All right, let's move them back first. Because these are going to be in the way. We're going to go backwards. Is it moving? I thought it was moving. It started moving there. All right, let's, yeah, let's go backwards so we can lay our track here. Let's do the reverser here. Let's get our brakes off. Give it some regulator. There we go. And we're going to move this back a, a little bit so we can get our track laid out here. We're going to get our splitter coming off here. A little bit more. Just a little bit. And that should do it. So we'll hit the brakes here. Jump out. I like how you can jump out before it stops moving and you're still like on the track, on the train. Okay, so I think what we can do is we can do rails like this. Let's see if we can do this maybe. Let's see if it'll let us hook up to this. Nope, it's going to go backwards. Okay, we'll have to try the other. We're just going to have to try different ones until we get the right one. So that was that that was that one. Let's try this one. I think if we if we find that little hook, yeah, the little chain link there. Nope, that's the one. Nice. All right, demolish rails. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna have to reset the locomotive anyway, aren't I? All right, and then let's try switch right. Let's try it like this. See if we can get this to work. And there. See the thing is, it's going it's gonna go the wrong way though, isn't it? Yeah, see it's gonna do that. Okay. I I'm not sure how this thing decides what it's where the rail's gonna go. Let's try this again. Switch right. And let's see if maybe we can get it to do this. Hook it right here. There we go. Okay, we can handle that. We can we can reroute that, I think. I think we can reroute this this segment here and get it to work. Oh, so let's go like this. Let's do this before we start destroying everything else. We'll go like this. Just a small segment. There we go. All right. And then we're going to start going this way. And we're going to curve it up. This way. I think we need some groundwork on there, don't we? How's that looking? It's a little sharp, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so let's let's demolish this and we'll get some groundwork on here. We'll get some groundwork on here. So let's go like this, groundwork, variable grade. We're going to connect it to this. Why is it... See, this is what it did to me last time, too, is it, it does this, and then if you try to connect it, it's automatically up like this giant step. Okay. I think we need to connect it back here then. Groundwork. Because if you do that, then it's like it can't possibly connect without like this huge jump, this huge leap. Let's see if we can go here. 
And we're going to come down. There we go. We just want to go, we want to get this to go like this. There we go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to be a little bit wider. Okay, let's see if we can get this to hook on. Three foot rail. Then we can start turning this way. Is that gonna, yeah, okay. It's gonna do it. We're gonna follow basically this other curve for the most part. And a little bit longer. We'll just come in a little bit longer than the other one did. And, oh man, is it gonna do? Did it, it just erase the whole thing? Why? Why? Why did that erase all of it? I don't understand. What is it doing? Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to demolish this. Get it out of the way. So that we can see what we're doing here. That piece. Is there one more down here? I think there's one more down here, isn't there? I can't tell. I can't tell if there's any more. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Can you? Yeah, thank you. Alright, and we should be able to connect with it by then. And let's go like... Can we... Whoops. Oh, drink. <laughs> let's go like this. Let's see if we can get this to connect. I don't know why, it just... It like said, oh, you right click, do nothing at all. That was odd. Is it working now? Yeah, there's some duplicate there. Not sure what that is. Let's get rid of that. That was weird. It was doing some weird duplicate thing there. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But we're going to pretend like it doesn't exist. <laughs> Denial. That's how you that's how you get past these things. All right. go. Can we hook it to that? Is it? Why? Okay, I don't understand that. What is it? What is it doing? Let's get this out of here. I do not understand why it's refusing to connect. Let's try this. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's because one is one direction and the other is the other direction. If these things have a front and a back, and if it's trying to connect the front to the back. Oh, this needs to come out this way. Never mind. Now I can't undo it, right? Demolish. No, I want to demolish rails. I don't want to accidentally demolish the groundwork, right? Okay. We're going to come out this way. We can even do... Yeah, we can go back a little bit farther, too. Okay. So we're going to come out of this one. And we're going to go like this. Come out a little bit more. All right. we can put groundwork underneath it, like I said before in, in a previous episode, we can put groundwork underneath it if we need to, if it's too um, problematic or whatever. So like this, see it looks like it's going to want to connect at a wonky angle there, and it is. And then it just, why? I don't get it. 
it just deletes everything I just did. And this, if I do it from here. Oh, now it works. Now it works. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. Yeah, do that. Do exactly that. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. It, it, I think it's when I try to connect it to the other one is when it freaks out and loses its mind. Okay, so let's try Let's get close to the other one, but not on top of it. Let's try that and see if that'll work. It's doing that weird thing at the very end of it, too. Let's see if we can get this to come up this, follow the up, the uphill of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this parallel to the other one, and then we're going to end it. Right? We're going to get it parallel to it, but then not actually connect it completely. And we'll see if we can then get it to connect. Nope, it just... I, I, ah. I don't understand. It's only when I go toward that one. <laughs> Uh, it's these cans. It hates these cans. I don't get it. Because, like, it. watch. We're going to do this again. We're going to just do, like, some ridiculous, stupid thing that makes no sense. Right? So if I do that, then it leaves the rails. Yeah, that's awesome. It'll let me build that, but it won't let me build that. I don't... <laughs> don't tell me that's covered in a tutorial. <laughs> I guarantee you there's no tutorial that says build like that <laughs> okay so uh, we're, this I'm kind of stuck here I mean if I can't get this to if I can't get this to, to go then what am I supposed to how am I supposed to continue building is this the switch is going the right way okay let me see Maybe the end was too short? I don't know. That looks like kind of a sharp turn, but we'll see. I don't know if maybe the end was too short, and that's what was doing it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe the end was too short, because it was doing that little that little ditty thing. Yeah, it was doing that weird, weird little thing. Wait, what was that right there? Oh, is that the switch? Is that because it lets me activate? Okay. It just shows me where this switch is. Okay. So we should be able to connect these two now. <laughs> See, it only took 20 minutes. Uh, Alright. Like this. This. Now the question is, do I want the other side to come off right here, so am I building this for no reason? Right? Because we want our thing to come up this way. Let's build our let's build one rail there first and we'll see what we can do from there. So we kinda wanna come out. Wow, that's really sharp, isn't it? That's gonna need to I need to change that right now. Right now, that's not gonna work. I can tell you that. That's gonna be a problem. All right, let's try this again. Let's start on this one and see if we can do it. Because this one does need to go straight out a little bit. Like this. this. See if that'll do it. Oh man, that's really sharp, isn't it? What is up with that? That is not pleasant at all. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can get this to work a little bit better. 
because that's that's not going to be a fun thing to do. That's that's definitely a derailing problem here, waiting to happen. Okay, so we're going to come out here this way. And very slowly start to turn towards that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. How's that looking back there? Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Is it really going to do that? It's not going to give me this spline there. Aw, oh, man. I had it there, too. All right, one more try. <laughs> they really should let you just lay down spline points, maybe. And adjust them by hand instead of this. All right, let's try this again. You know what I mean? You can adjust the handles on the spline points. If you want. If, like, maybe it's in an advanced menu or something like that, right? All right, we're just gonna barely turn. Just a little bit. Just enough to stay on this thing. And then we're gonna turn this way. that that should do it oh yeah that's much better okay all right it was worth the it was worth the effort to get that one okay so then what we need to do is we need to come out this way and start going up into these trees and we basically want to go so that we can come off of that track too so we do want this to come out at somewhat of an angle see how much we can do on this how much of an angle we can get so how's that looking okay that's pretty smooth we can go like another few turns this And then we'll put our, we can put our firewood depot up in the woods here. Because the other thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to turn off of the, let's see, how's that looking? Yeah, we need to be able to turn off of the thing. It basically turn around and stuff. I think what we could do is we could even put a, a, a switch on the end that comes back? I'm not sure. Not sure if that would work well. But let's go like this. Alright. Thank you for not deleting all that. Okay. <laughs> that, I would be mad if that all got deleted. Alright. Let's get this. Nice, the tree hit me. It's funny. Get all these trees out of here. I've learned to clear out a lot farther from the tracks than I've than I've been doing, because then you can actually see where you're going. It's kind of nice in some places where you feel like you're driving through the woods, kind of thing. But yeah. All right. I think where we where we want to be switching tracks and stuff like that, and we want to know we want to be able to see what the switch looks like before we get there and all that stuff. Probably important to be able to see. Visibility is better. So we get all of these out of here. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to decide where we're going to come out from this track in order to split off. And I think we can do that right here. It looks like we can do that right here, doesn't it? Would that be a good spot? Because then we come up that, we come down from this track and then we split off to there. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
So let's see if we can put in a switch left. That's what we want, is right there. Do we have a, a junction here? There's a junction there. Is that gonna work? It's gonna go backwards, of course it is. I swear it never ever wants to go the way I want it to go. Um, switch right, let's try this one. No, that one's going to go the other way too, isn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> and let's try switch left. That's what we want, is that. Can we go up an another joint? Switch left. Uh, yeah, I don't get that. Because I'd rather do that before I demolish these rails out and then find out that they don't want to connect, you know? Um, let's try this one. See if this will do it. Yeah, that did it. Okay. Alright, so then the, the trick is going to be getting rid of these other tracks. Yeah. Okay, they're underneath. Alright, so we should be able to demolish them. Demolish rails. There. There. And underneath ones, we want the lower ones, right? Let's see if we if we put our mouse on the. Let's see, this log right here is not part of that. There we go. All right, cool. Looks like we got it. I think we've got them all. Yep. Okay. So then we're gonna have to redo. Oh man, we're gonna have to redo this, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right. Will that connect to beyond that? Nope. That looks a little dangerous, doesn't it? I think it does. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to to go up here. So we're going to demolish the groundwork because this groundwork is going to work against us when we're trying to do this. So we're going to go groundwork, variable grade. It's, whoa, that was weird. See if it'll let us connect on this one. No. See if it'll do this. And we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go up to there. It should do it. See if that'll let us make our nice little thingy. See if it'll let us do it. Whoops. I just hit I just hit the windows key. <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad. It's not too horrible. Okay. So that should work. And then this should be able to come off into the woods too. So let's get at least a basic rail laid out. Does it not want to... It doesn't want to come up. Okay, so we're going to need to lay a grade down there. Alright, let's do that first. And we'll go like this. And we'll come down. Down one degree at a time. It's fine. And then like this. There we go. And this should come down right about there. That's perfect. All right, let's see if we can get a piece of track laid on there, like that. Get all these trees out of here. Okay, so 
so we've got rails. We're going to put like this. There we go. Is that smooth enough? Yeah, it looks smooth enough. Okay. Cool. How's that looking? Yeah, I think we, I think that's going to be doable. And we should be able to come in here, and I think we can even um, do a uh, split off here too. That would be actually kind of nice if we can get our if we can get our switch to to go that easily. Switch left. See if we can get it to come in here. It was right there. Yeah, that's too too close. Go like this. We need to come back another. There we go. No, I think we're still gonna need to come back another joint. Okay. Like that. Of course it wants to go the other way. <laughs> Of course it does. Come on, demolish is are we demolishing the wrong thing? Yeah. Demolishing rails. Let's try it again. Which one was that? That was that switch. Let's see if we can get this one to connect. Switch left. There we go. Is it gonna do it? Is it going into the ground or something? Huh. So that's too steep or what? This needs to be up higher. I'm trying to figure out what... Yeah, that's level. So the ground is coming up there. It just sure doesn't feel like it, does it? Alright. So does that mean that we need to elevate this whole thing? Yeah, that sucks. So we need to elevate this whole thing and make a piece of track. Rails. Switch left. See if we can... Nope, it doesn't want to do it on that one. <laughs> and let's try this again. Switch left. We'll try coming back another one. Because that's going into the ground. Alright, um, let's go like this. The thing is, the switches can't be... Um, we'll come back another one. The switches have to be level. It won't let you do the switches of the other way. Yeah, why does it do that? It should at least show me on the preview that that's what it's going to do. If it's going to do that, that's it's one thing, but it doesn't. That's the one on the far. Let's try this. No, it suddenly decided. I do not understand that. It's because it would be level and it would work, right? Ah, uh, switch right. No, I don't want to switch right. I want to switch left. And I want it to go there. And I want it to be pointing this direction. Point in that direction. <sighs> okay. What if we go... Switch right. And what if we do this? Well, no, that's not going to work either. Because it needs to be this way. One was that? That was this one here. Switch left. I wish there was an undo so you didn't have to do this demolish thing if you screw it up. Um, let's go like this. We'll go back one more joint. 
Nope, it insists on doing it that way. All right, we're gonna come back this way. We're gonna put on this one. We're gonna go like this. Ha ha. <laughs> but it's still going into the ground. Okay. Huh. So it's not gonna let me. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to elevate the track then in order to get this switch in here. So we're gonna have to demolish the stuff. Ugh. Didn't wanna have to do that. All right, so we're gonna have to do, we want our switch to be up here. So why don't we get this one to be higher. It's just gonna be a pain trying to get this to fit correctly. All right, so we're gonna get groundwork. And we're gonna start here. And then we're gonna go up 2%. that even there it's about even there and then we're gonna go zero and zero all right and then we're gonna come back this way with the zero all right See if we can get that to work. So what we need to do is we need to connect our switch. We need our switch to be on this level ground, so it needs to be like this, right? So let's get it lined up for the most part, right? There we go. And then we can try to connect all these smoothly. So we'll demolish a few of these rails back here and redo this corner. Okay, so let's see if we can get this to work. We're gonna go from here to here first. Didn't like that little last little segment, did it? <laughs> it's a little, the little kink there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it does. I think we're gonna let that one go for now, and we'll see if we can get this one to smoothly connect. Put this one down here. I think it was because I had a segment segment that was too short. there. I think that's the key to that. Alright, this is just getting the segments the right length. That shouldn't be too bad, but yeah, I'm kind of... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, let's go like this. Get our rail coming out of this one. Because I did this one fairly smooth, so we should be able to... I shouldn't have to go really sharp in order to match this up. Oh, looks like it's going to match up pretty well. Whoops. Yeah, that was a... I totally missed. I screwed that one up. It looks like it's going to work, though. Okay, so this one here... And that, yeah. I'm just afraid to demolish that because then I'll never be able to get it to connect again, right? <laughs> See, I think once you do this, once you do the next segment, when you place the next segment, it re... Yeah, see, it does. This part down here um, readjusts to the curve. 
to be to become part of the curve. It looks like it's just coming straight out, but then once you've laid down the second segment, it has enough of the spline points that it can do it. Okay, and then we should be able to just connect that. There we go. All right, so then when we come down here to the depot, I should redo this now that I'm on a roll, right? That little piece right there. Is that part of the rail? No, that isn't. Okay. Part of the switch, I mean. Yeah, that's the switch there, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to go like this. Yeah, like I said, now that I'm on a roll, I should make sure I get these right. There we go. That's much better. Much better. Okay, so now when we come into this depot, we can go out either way. We can basically do a U-turn on this. You know what I mean? We can we can reverse the direction of the train. I need to make sure that this is in the right spot. Yeah, that is in the right spot. Okay, that switch is going the right way. Okay, so we need to be able to do is we need to be able to bring our train down here and then uh, get our, whatchamacallit. So we're going to do this too so we can see the switch when we're coming around this corner. And hopefully when we re-rail this, it should... We're going to remove the pin. And we're going to go like this. No, that's not going to do it. And we need to re-rail this. So let's go like this. Re-rail Betsy. Come on, you can do it. Why is it not showing me? There we go. All right. And these should be okay. All right, let's do this. Is our fire temperature? Are we out of fuel again? We're out of fuel. All right, let's go like this. There we go. Close the hatch. All right, let's go do this. Let's go forward. Turn up our regular, turn off our brake. So we're gonna try this both ways. So I guess we should go back. We're gonna have to go back. Oh, I need to stop here too, because this switch, I don't remember which direction the switch is at. Let's see. The switch is going that yeah, so we need to swap this. It'd be nice if there was a way to, to do those remotely. Then we need to go forward. Past our switch. There we go. Then we can swap. There we go. And then we're going to reverse. And I don't remember which way this other switch is going. So we're going to go over this. I might need to put some stuff underneath there. Yeah, our switch is the wrong way. So we need to stop here. And switch this before we do that. There we go. Yeah, that would be kind of cool if you could do the switches remotely or whatever. All right, you could see them on the map and maybe switch them or something like that. Okay, so let's go this way. <laughs> I'm just remembering when it rammed into the end. That was awesome. Uh, brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. Alright, so we need to be able to come out here. That's cool. We can merge onto those tracks. That's awesome. And then we need to be able to um, switch off of here. 
so we need a switch right or left, whichever. Let's go like this, see if this will connect. There we go. Alright, cool. And then we're going to get some logs out of the way here too. Get some trees out of here. And then what we need to do is we need to be able to come out. Um, this one's going to go parallel and then the other one's going to go out. So let's go like this, three foot rail. This is going to come out straight. This one's just going to keep going straight. And we'll see how far we need to go with this. There we go. All right. That'll probably be sufficient. Let me get these trees out of the way. So what we need to do is we need to make the other piece, and we don't know how wide it's going to be, so we're going to have to, we're going to, have to put in the other building and then take it back out or whatever if it's not in the right spot kind of thing. So we're going to have to eyeball this for the at the beginning. Can we get that one? That one. All right. So we need to go like this. And we're going to come out a little bit more. So like I said, I don't know how wide that thing is. So let's see how that's going to work and let's go like this firewood depot see I can't tell where it's gonna be over there so we're gonna have to lay it this way so we're gonna have to go like this is that does that look aligned it looks like it's aligned whoops okay that's odd <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So it lines up with when you face whichever direction you're facing. Okay. So if we place it there. Whoops. Did it not place? It didn't place. Why didn't it place? Can we place it there? There. Is that going to. See, that's going to interfere with the train. That's going to get run into by the train. So we need to move it farther back. Whoops. Um, let's go back to this. I almost hit escape. <laughs> You're lucky. Demolish facilities. Let's try this again. Firewood Depot. I don't know how much tolerance there is between those. So there's that. Okay, so we do need to come out wider. So let's go like this. Rails. Let's see if we can get it to come out there. There we go. There we go. I'm waiting for them to burst into the Beverly Hillbillies, right? Alright, it's too bad you can't nudge this thing, huh? That'd be great if we could just move it that way. Okay, because we need to make it fit here. Demolish facilities. Is it going to do it? It's not demolishing the facilities. There we go. Alright. So the trick is, we need to make this fit. 
Where's the track come out? A little bit more. Okay, like that. See how that looks. It's close. All right. So we've got that side and that side. Okay, let's get this. Let's get the logs out of here first. And this one. All these out of here. And we're going to leave extra space on the end, so that the um, so that if we have a long train and the firewood's on the front end of it or whatever, then we have extra track. I don't know how far you can be from this and still load. So we're just going to redo this bit of track. Demolish rails. All right, and let's go like this. Rails, three foot rail. We're gonna start back here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start back here and we're gonna go like this. That looks like it should work. And we'll start coming this way. We can hopefully meet up with one of the other ones. Is it going to make me go over the top? I think it is. Okay. So let's demolish these rails. And we've got, is it one more? There's a bump right there, isn't there? A big bump. Big bada bump. Okay. Let's see if we can get that to line up nicely. So we're gonna go like this. we get this about to that length? Yeah, we want to get it about as long as we can. Oh, it's going to do that, isn't it? Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. It sure seems like, no, it sure seems like it's going to go downhill a lot, isn't it? I don't know, let's try it. Let's go like this. If we're just going into the depot, it's not as quite as... Wow, that is kind of sharp. The other end of that segment is kind of sharp, too. If we're just going into the depot, we're going to be wanting to go slow anyway. It's not like we're going to come flying in full steam ahead or anything. So, brakes. Let's see how it's going to go. Let's see what it's going to do here. Oh, it seems to be okay. All right, cool. And we're not going to ram into the side of it or anything like that? Nope. Okay. That would be really cool is you just put a, uh, an uphill, a big uphill on that, right? We could do that. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to um, get the lumber and go back home with it. So we're gonna put the reverser on, take the reverser off, whatever. We're gonna go back this way. So we're gonna try this thing at full speed and see what happens. Just to make sure we don't have any really bad. All right, cool, that's cool. And then this one's gonna go that way. All right, we should switch this one. We're going to switch this one to this way. Alright, so now we have a turnaround, which is cool. 
here. Let's go like this. Let's take this one. We're going to take these at high speeds just so we can make sure that we're not going to ram into stuff or fall off the tracks and all that. It looks like they're doing pretty well. All right, and I don't want to... Oh, you know what? This one I need to switch anyway, don't I? Because it's going the other way. All right. And so we're going to, let's see, we can push the train back. We can do that. But yeah, the cool thing is we can now turn our engines around and stuff like that on that whole thing. So let's go like this. Let's go a little bit of speed. See if we can get move in here. Did it just stop? Did it just like ram into the thing? I think I'm stuck on the... Yeah, I am stuck on something. What's it stuck on? Or did I run out of fire temperature? Oh, my boiler pressure is going way down. Okay, let's turn this off. See if we can get some boiler pressure in here. Right? We'll do one more. Can we pick up another piece of firewood? There we go. Apparently we had to click it twice. All right. Because this is not blocked or anything. No, it's not blocked. Okay. No, it's just we ran out of pressure. Okay, so we're going to have to go like this. Nope, I did run into something. What did I run into? Did I run... Is there an old piece of track there? There must be an old piece of track or something. Let's see. Let's go like this. Let's put the brakes on. Okay, let's see if we, if we can find what's going on here. Because I just bumped into something right here. It wasn't that, no, because it was up here. There's got to be, there's got to be like an old piece of track underneath. Is that it right there? I think that's it right there. Yeah, you can see a little piece of track sticking off right there. Um, I'm going to save the game. We're going to save it. Slot 8, save game. And then we're going to try deleting that piece of track. So that it doesn't screw us up. Because you can see it right there too. Alright, yeah, you can see the Z fighting on here too. Let's see if we can, this, if the switch will show us. Can I not select the switch now? I can't select the switch now. Okay, it's over here. Is it... It's this piece... I think it's that. So let's see if we can get this rail. It's right here. Where's my little crosshair? Where'd my little crosshair go? Demolish rails. I'm not seeing it now. Huh. Is it... It's this piece. It's got to be this piece right here. There we go. And do we have more of it? We have more of it over here. Okay. And it looks like it's going to be this piece right here. Yeah, I think we got it. All right, that's dangerous stuff. Okay, so now we should be able to get back in here. All right, let's go for it. I'm glad I didn't come flying in at full speed, right? Let's see what we can do here. And bring the brake down just a little bit until we start moving. Go. Okay. Nope. A little bit more. Did I... Oh, man. Did I leave the brakes off in this thing? Let's see. Yeah. That should do it. All right. I think one of them will be sufficient. Okay. So we should be able to put the pin in here. Did we lose the 
I think we did. Okay, so let's go like this. Add link. Why isn't it? Oh man, I gotta back off to to let it add the link. Okay. The link came out. All right, let's go fast, fast before it does it. Add link. There we go. Head pin. Nice. There we go. All right, and then we can turn that break off and we need to get back in the thing before it goes right <laughs> cool there we go all right so we can turn off the brakes turn the regulator up and we should be able to take this stuff back to the to the other thing we'll do that and then we can call it an episode right look our beams are refilling too I think that's cool but I think we'll make another run for logs first before we do that you know what I need to check I need to check if this switch that switch is the right way okay good you can see it from here that's cool all right because <laughs> that would be a train wreck a literal train wreck right all right yeah, that would be kind of a problem if, if we had that. Is this one switched over? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. We need to get rid of that section of the track anyway, I think. And then we can get rid of that track. That, Or we might change that switch so that it goes over to the other thing, too. That can be like a shortcut to the, um, our, uh, whatchamacallit, our firewood depot. I don't know. Not sure if I want to do that or not. And now I can't tell if we're going uphill or downhill or level or what. It looks fairly level because the trees are mostly up and down, right? <laughs> That's how that works. That's how you do it is you look at the trees. Alright, because the trees go straight up. I'm just trying to remember where our thing is. I think it's after this corner. It's it's another like this and then another left. Because this one's longer than the other one. But yeah, that's cool. We should be able to deliver this and then bring our cars back to the other thing and sit them over at the lumber yard. We can sit these at the lumber yard. Yeah, I think this takes a left and then and then that's our depot coming up. Let's see. Not sure. That's a, like I said, we need more of the signs or something. I could, I mean, I could like cheat and put in just pieces of rail <laughs> in the middle of the woods and encode the lengths or numbers of them or something like that. But that would not be fun. That would be really ugly. It's that's totally like the Imperion solution, right? Okay, so turn off the regulator. We need to start breaking here. I think we are going the right way. Okay. It looks like our switch is off to the right. Yeah, our switch is off to the right. I like that you can see that from here. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm sure that's why they're like that, too. All right. I, w I have to wonder, though, if real tracks do that, if they basically just derail the train if, this, if you come at the switch and it's from the back way, you know? Or if the train just pushes the switch out of the way. Yeah, I don't know. Right, we should be able to come up here. We should be able to coast our way in. That's cool. Maybe a little bit more steam, huh? Give it a little bit. And we're almost there. Yeah, I wonder, um, okay, we're going to get our brake going, so we definitely need to stop here, we need to stop, there, <laughs> that did it, perfect, all right, okay, yeah, I wonder how often they're going to be doing updates on this too, all right, so how much money do we have, we have 1428, let's unload,
and then cool 1500 can we unload multiples at a time I think we can nice 1608 1630 1644 cool awesome that's awesome all right I think we're gonna head back I'm gonna head back to the other thing this thing doesn't seem to be using water or sand or whatever my water level is actually going up, not down. So yeah, it's using, it's not using water. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to the other thing. That's, we're gonna do that for our outro. That's gonna be it for episode uh, seven. I think this is episode seven. Join me in, in episode eight. And we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do a log run and then see what else maybe we can build. And maybe we'll start going to the next, oh, I can't do the map here, can I? What if I do this? I can do the map here. Maybe we'll go to like the oil field or the smelter or something like that. We'll try, we'll try checking out another another thing, or maybe we'll build a bigger train or something like that. But yeah, that's gonna be it for seven. Join me in episode eight, and we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>